Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about um, the lab equipment that we're going to, we're going to be using on Monday. Um, so the MacBook is going to be used to run the software which analyzes the data, and this is the equipment. So we're going to be using a motion sensor, so the, the, we're going to do a number of motion sensor labs. These things, this is some kind of sensor which it detects how far away an object is and it can do it in real time. So you can plot on the computer uh, the position of objects and the velocity of objects uh, as a function of time. So this is a green thing, it opens up, uh, you'll be able to play around with these for a little bit. Uh, the larger object, which says Lab Pro, is just kind of like an in-between between between the motion sensor and the computer. So you're going to have a wire that goes from the motion sensor to the sent to the computer, uh, to the, I don't know, whatever device this is, and then from this device to the computer. And so that's how you're going to get the data from the motion sensor on the computer. There's also going to be a clamp, which is going to help you secure the motion sensor, and then a set of wires. So I'm just going to connect these things up real quick. First, you need power to the uh, in-between device. And for the power, uh, you can use any outlet you want. I'm going to grab one of the spoolie things up there. So like I said, the motion sensor connects to the in-between device. You can hear that sound, means it just turned on. So there is a dig sonic connector, and we have the only possible connector it could possibly be, which is a non-USB cord. That goes in there. There are two possible connections, pick one. And there is a regular USB cord, which is going to connect directly to the computer from the um, you know, in-between device. And you guys all know about USB cords, so I don't need to be a lecture about that. For the motion sensor part of it, we're going to need to secure the motion sensor. And since this is a free fall lab, the motion sensor is going to be pointing downwards. So uh, let me show you how that's going to look. OK, so you can see there is a, a rod here and a clamp, and we will provide you with the rods and clamps you can set up yourself. On the motion sensor, this is a clamp which connects to the motion sensor. So you can see now the motion center is pointed downwards, and so the object is going to be right here, it's going to drop it, and it's going to uh, plot on the program. So now I'm going to cut away to a video of me playing a little bit with the program. Okay guys, so now I'm on the MacBook Air, and if you go over and look under Logger Pro, under the search button in the Mac, you'll get Logger Pro, and that's the program which we're going to use uh, with the motion sensor. So you're confronted with the screen like this. Um, some important things up here are this green button right here is going to take your data. Here gives a list of all the data, time, position, velocity. And here you have position and velocity. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, uh, start the thing and then just wave my hand in front of it so you can sort of see what the data looks like. OK, so I'm moving my hand up and down, pretty regular pace. You can see that it's sensing my hand and it's getting something like this. So there's lots of different things you could do on here. Uh, you could play around with the data. You can hide data. You can delete. You can uh, remove data from any analysis. You cannot delete data on this, I've heard, because that's not good experimental practice, which is absolutely true. But here, this is all the data which we just took, time, position, and velocity of my hand. And this is the actual um, motion that the motion sensor picked up. So in this lab, uh, this coming up lab, the free fall lab, and in many other labs, we're going to want to do some data analysis. Specifically, we're going to want to fit some data, which um, I've already made a video about this, which you should have watched already. But for instance, we can highlight some section of the data, go up to analyze right here, and then go to various kinds of fits. So the, mostly what we're going to be doing are linear fits and curve fits. 
Um, this guy looks kind of like a curve, so I'm going to put curve fit. And see the same area is highlighted. I'm going to pick the equation I want to use, say quadratic, at squared plus bt plus c, and then I'm going to do try fit. And then see these numbers right here, they tell you what a, b, and c are. So like when I talked about in the curve fitting video, this tells you what those parameters are. And also you can see that the fit is pretty good. So I'll say, okay, good. I think this is a nice fit. Put it on and it shows up. So that's basically what the what we're gonna be using Logger Pro for. There's some other things we can do like video analysis that we're gonna do next week. But for the moment, this is enough uh, for you to understand.